I found some information out about the ferry. Hey, well, what was the cost? <laughs> you don't want to know. We're Rich and Chris. We hit the road in April of 2020, traveling full-time on motorcycles. Remember, it's not what you ride, but that it's your ride. Good morning. We're getting ready to head out and go over the Mackinac Bridge. But first I wanted to introduce you to Henry. Do you remember me saying um, back when we were at Two Harbors, we had no place to camp and this sweet lady named Katie offered us to, to stay at her spot. And I was like, well, we need to be in a position where we can pay that forward. So we're sitting around the campfire last night and a motorcycle pulls up, motorcycle rider pulls up and asks if there's any place to camp and we point to Rick Beale's spot that we have and here he is. So, <laughs> hey, how are you guys? Our new, our new. Uh... This is this is this is our new our new best friend. This is Henry from New hey, Jersey. I'm from Jersey. Yes. Yep. And he is riding around, just kind of exploring this summer. And we just wanted to. Um, we're so glad that he stopped and yeah. asked for a place to camp. Yeah. <laughs> there is no other campgrounds, and uh, this is probably the most inviting place there was. <laughs> so so show him his camp. Oh yes, yes. Here's here's what he here's how he slept last night. Because he came un under my motorcycle he, cover. <laughs> he came very prepared for his camping trip. <laughs> under my motorcycle cover. It look, probably looks like a dead body. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you're riding. 2014 V-Strom 650. Uh, and yeah, there's nothing really to tell about it. <laughs> it's two wheels and it gets you down the road. All right, we are out of here. Bye Bay Furnace. Now that I finally know how to, you know, say what you are. Yeah. And by uh, the town of Munising. Munising. <laughs> I know how to pronounce it now, but I still get it wrong the first try. We made it to Mackinac Bridge, didn't we? we almost. Almost. We haven't crossed it yet. <laughs> yep. But we're getting ready to cross the Mackinac Bridge.
back where we used to swim Jump the fence before the summer begins And getting cool in the summer heat with you, my sweet Sitting in the back of your car Wishing for this road to take us far <laughs> All right. While well, we're staying here in Muskegon, I'm gonna do the memorial service for my mom. Richard's doing a little bit of repair work on Miss Alice. Let's see what he's doing. Talk to me, what are you doing? I used to have some spotlights on the crash bars and those uh, broke, they, they broke. I found these for $44 at AutoZone and they're actually really nice and bright. We saw them from our buddy Henry. I was going to install these and then take a picture of it and send it to him. Oh, nice. Yeah, because I want to get a couple of... I'm just zip tying it right now. Okay. So it'll be zip tied on and then I'll get a couple clamps and then I can just take it off and put clamps on it. Okay, be... just in case you want to use it. Changing... Changing the oil. And we are at the BMW Motorcycle Shop in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Going to drop my bike off for its 12,000 mile service. They're going to have it for a couple days. They're really busy, and we're very grateful that they were able to even um, get us in, but they couldn't do it all in one day. He said if we dropped it off, he could work on it a little bit each day. So we're hoping three days, and we'll get it back and be out on the road. Some information out about the ferry. Okay. Um, What'd you find? We're, we've, we're on the 1015 ferry. Okay. We have to be there 45 minutes early. We do not need to bring straps for the motorcycle. They supply straps. It's two and a half hours across. And this is from Muskegon to uh, Milwaukee. I didn't look at Ludington because I didn't want to drive further north. About Those were all of our questions that we had regarding yeah, the, the straps, ferry. How it was going to be. And what was the cost? <laughs> you don't want to know. Yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> okay, so it's $99.50 per adult. Your motorcycle was 96, I think, because of the trailer. Mine okay. was 57. And then they have a $20 fuel surplus charge and then a $32 port charge. <laughs> so, yeah. But in reality, it saves well, us do, a lot of time, though. I think it, it saves us a lot of time not having to go through Chicago and all that stress. It's way less stressful. Yes. And it'll be fun going across Lake Michigan. Yes. All right, good morning. We're scrambling, we're running late. Uh, we're supposed to be over to the ferry yeah, 45 minutes early. Wish us luck. Cross Lake Ferry. All right, let's see what we're doing here. You got your little receipt, right? Or the number. Yes, confirmation yeah. number. Howdy, sir. Morning. Thank you. Is this a solar powered motorcycle? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I want to get your ID out. Okay. Do you have any firearms, sir? I, I do. Hi there. I am. Uh, oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hold on. Let me get my uh, driver's license out. Get in front of that car. I kind of like what you're saying there. It means I'm going on first. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I was just going to put him here. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thanks, you too. All right. Here we go. So we have to go around. Around in the lane one. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop. Oh, man. Oh, all right, here you go. We made it. I was all stressed out. I don't know why. <laughs> Put me on a deadline where we have to be somewhere specifically, and it kind of stresses me out. But we made it. We're here. We're just waiting to board. I'm so excited. I don't know why. <laughs> but I am. This is going to be fun. Again, there's Richard with his button here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sorry, dear. <laughs>
we made it on a yes. on a ship. Here's our other piece of advice we just picked up about your keys. Oh yeah, on the, if you got a Harley or you got a you got a security device on your bike, make sure you leave your keys with your bike. So the, otherwise, the rocking of the boat will set the alarm off. And then it'll go off the entire two-hour trip. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I'm sure everybody would be very pleasant, very very pleased with you for doing that. Yes. All well, right. mine, mine. If it goes off, it goes off for two minutes, and then it's quiet for a minute, and then it does it again. Yes. And it does that continuously until you're annoyed with it. Yep. All right. So we're gonna enjoy. <laughs> we're we're gonna enjoy this ride. What is the clearance? Oh, so the clearance, like if you got a camper, a trailer, camper with pulling a trailer, if you're gonna trailer your bikes or whatever, uh, about nine and a half feet max. You didn't have an exact number, but it was nine and a half, but most campers are gonna be over 11, so. Anyways, so right. nine and a half feet. You can't get too bit too tall of a vehicle on here. Okay. Nineteen oh three, yay! <laughs> One wishes to go out in a rugged, manly way. Let him pack his tent aboard a motorcycle and live in the open. 1915. Our ne next stop is the Bighorn Mountains in Wyoming and we're hoping that's high enough elevation to get us cooled down and there's supposed to be yeah. some great roads out there so the weather can change really quick here in Wyoming one minute it's a hundred degrees and you're sweating your butt off and the next minute it's 55 rainy and yeah anyway I'm just wiping the dew off the bikes look good going down the road Don't hit the little cows. Jeez, you yeah. freaked them out. <laughs> they were not happy with you. All right, this looks like a great spot to have lunch, I think. What do you guys think? 